Hi, I'm Donald Green, and this is another product review from IfItHitsTheFan.com. Today we're going to be looking at two different pistols. The Ruger 2245 threaded barrel, and the Walther P22 also with the threaded barrel. To go with those threaded barrels, we're going to be looking at the Silencer Co. Sparrow, a uh, uh, suppressor for any 22 caliber. Simply unthread the cap. Thread the suppressor on. Got my eye protection, but no ear protection is necessary. And that's how she goes. Right, you, saw the, you saw the Ruger 2245. This is the Walther P22. It's obviously a much smaller weapon. It's based off the uh, Walther Smith & Wesson uh, full-size service weapon. So it's a good cross trainer. That's how she goes. All right, so we shot the 2245 and the Walther P22. This one's a little more accurate. It's a heavier gun. It's got more of a hand filling grip, and the sights are actually above the suppressor. When it's in line, you can see all of the sights and over the, over the barrel. Now this is a lighter gun. It's a smaller grip. Um, it's got very nice three dot sights which if you combine the size and positioning of these sights with the three dots of these sights, I think you'd really be on something there. Um, both function flawlessly, both are easy to shoot. This one's probably MSRP in the 300 range, MSRP in the 400 range. You can get them on sale for a lot cheaper than that. Um, both of them are 10 rounds and they're both good solid guns, so whichever one fits your hand best is the one I would recommend. I mentioned that this is a scaled down clone of the Walther Smith & Wesson full size duty weapon. 2245 is obviously designed after the 1911 with the same grip angle, grip size, and safeties and controls are in the same positions. So if you're a, 19, or a 1911 person, this might be a real good gun for you to use as practice and training. And the ability to get a suppressor, they're legal in most states. You have to uh, go through the ATF and submit a $200 transfer tax and an application signed by your local law enforcement uh, officer and photographs and fingerprints and send that in in three to six months. Uh, once they get around to it, they'll approve it, send you your tax stamp, and you go pick it up at your dealer. Um, yeah, they're not terribly expensive. This one's in the three to $400 range plus your $200 tax. Um, and they can be useful if you're you know, pest control or you don't want to disturb the neighbors, don't want to damage your own hearing. In many European countries, suppressors are available over the counter and are kind of required or at least uh, supported for public shooting ranges. In the United States, uh, they used to be available at your local hardware store, but then they decided to slap a $200 tax on it and make a whole lot of red tape. So, in short, the Silencer Co. Sparrow Suppressor, very cool. Ruger 2245 with threaded barrel, very nice, very accurate, comfortable to shoot. Walther P22 with threaded barrel. Comfortable, uh, lightweight in the hand, and a good uh, small frame practice gun for a full size weapon. This has been another If It Hits the Fan product review. We'll see you next time.